Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, my students, uh, now we move uh, further into the concept of the energy. Um, so far, we have discussed that um, if there is an object which is moving in a, on a straight line and you see that there is a change in energy, so the change in kinetic, kinetic energy would mean that some work has been done. Okay, now uh, here is uh, one point to be noted. Now, suppose that an object is moving in such a way that uh, its speed is constant throughout. When the speed is constant throughout, um, so that means there is no change in kinetic energy. So when there is no change in kinetic energy, so that would mean that no work has been done. Now, how can this be possible um, if there is no change in uh, energy and we are saying that no work has been done? Okay, uh, let me take you back to, the, to that, our favorite formula F equal to ma. Now, do you remember that when, when an object is moving at a constant speed, then what is its acceleration? Yeah, acceleration is zero. So when acceleration is zero, then it means that the, uh, as long as the forces acting on, for example, this is, this is our object, the forces are concerned. So that means the resultant of the forces is zero over here. So we can assume, for example, if there is a 10 Newton force, that is the pulling force, the driving force, then there ha has to be a backward 10 Newton force. Only then this can be at rest, I, I mean, uh, in a state of equilibrium. So uh, now suppose it has covered a distance of, um, let's say, 20 meters, okay? So the, the, the work done by the driving force, that is going to be 10 times 20, so that is going to be 10 times 20, that is the work done by the driving force, okay? So this is going to be 200 joule. Now what is the work done by the, um, against this resisting force? So that is also going to be 10 times 20. So that is the work done by the resisting force, so that is also going to be 200 joule. So when you see that, uh, if we, we, we try to find the net work done, the total work done, so that is going to be the work done by the driving force minus work done with the resisting force, so that will be equal to zero. So I come to the point again, now suppose here its speed was 3 meter per second and at this point its speed is like suppose if this is the 20 meters distance, okay, and here the speed is also 3 meter per second. So the kinetic energy at this level is going to be, uh, suppose its mass is given as 2 kg, okay? So the kinetic energy at this level is going to be half into the mass into the speed square. And the kinetic energy at this level is also going to be half into the mass into the speed square, okay? So you see that it is 9 here, it is 9 here. So is there any change in the kinetic energy? There is no change in the kinetic energy. And you see that the net work done, the total work done, that is also zero. So um, um, I have discussed the, the, uh, the situation where the object is moving with the constant speed. So this is relating to uh, the thing that we have previously done, that constant speed means the object is uh, in an equilibrium state when there is the equilibrium state the resultant of the forces is zero therefore the acceleration is zero okay now I take you to the um, to another situation now suppose uh, um, here is a situation uh, let's say there is a particular speed over here and here is a particular speed V and you find the change in kinetic energy and you know that that is half m into v square minus u square okay now you given uh, like this is an object this has a certain mass okay so there is a force f so this change in ki kinetic energy should be the work done by this object uh, being pulled by the force f and covering a distance d so this should be equal to FD. Okay. Now what if 
you don't get that this result is equal to the work done by this pulling force okay then you must be sure that there is definitely another force which is not being stated and that would definitely be the frictional force so if you see that this this change in kinetic energy is not going to be equal to the uh, the work done by, by the given force then there is definitely another force because this should always be true okay uh, so I have discussed two points over here one is when the object is moving with a constant speed the second when your change in kinetic energy is not same as the work done by the given force okay so what happens in this case now when this is not going to be the same then this is going to be definitely like this the change in kinetic energy that is going to be the net work done the work done by the driving force minus work done by the resisting force so you have to remember this formula okay this is a very very useful formula i'll be adding some more things into uh, this formula in the coming videos so guys basically through these videos i'm just giving you different situations and the formulas uh, to be used to handle those situations uh, towards the end of the these uh, videos i'll be taking you to the past papers question and you will see that inshallah if you remember you retain these formulas you will see that you will be able to handle those uh, past papers problems very easily inshallah so stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you very much